it's Suzanne with Scrap in the Details and I wanted to post a quick video because I obviously need to find out who the winner of my giveaway is and I want to first off thank you for everyone that subscribed to my channel for your comments I read every single one of them and I do plan on responding and I apologize if I haven't done that yet but it's been super busy as I'm sure it is for you and your family as we get ready for Christmas which is less than a few days away so anyway I just thought I'd share with you just really quickly a couple of projects before I announce the winner of the giveaway if you saw my boutique video you may have noticed these um, boxes they're simply large uh, pillow boxes that I picked up at Staples about a year ago they had 25 for uh, in the pack and I believe they were like on sale for like $2.99 at the time I didn't know what I was gonna do with them but this year I decided to um, decorate them with some embellishments and just make them uh, part of my boutique as pretty packaging so these were plain white now as you can see they're embossed so I ran them through uh, my embossing machine from Teresa Collins and used a couple of her embossing folders the 8x10 but also Sizzix does have an embossing folder too and it worked perfectly through her machine so again I kept the design very simple as you can see I embossed the white um, pillow box I added a strip of pattern paper around the band of the pillow box then I added these gold doilies and these are from um, SRM stickers I absolutely love their doilies they those primarily are probably my favorite and I just placed a big order for white ones some gold ones that obviously you see here and some several ones and of course the heart ones as we get ready for Valentine's so she has the best doilies and I literally have to have those on hand um, especially for the holidays so here you can see this bow is my favorite bow as of right now it is from Sizzix by Brenda Walton and it's called the French bow so you can see all of them have the bows and some of them in the center I either put a sequin here as you can see here is just a um, silver little rhinestone that I picked up and I think these I got these at Michaels like in the dollar fifty bin and then here I did use the portion of the die to create the center and I just used gold glitter paper for that and then I just you know um, this stamp I mean excuse me this tag is from Stampin' Up! so I just kept it white added a little bit of glitter um, paper trim to the bottom and then stamped it to and from so I sold them just like this and they're empty inside but it's perfect for a scarf for earrings for a gift card it just helps the customer um, get ready for the holidays super easy super fast so I just wanted to kind of show you those really quickly and let me just show you one more project this might be a little hard to share but I picked these wood letters up at I believe I picked them up at where did I pick them up oh Hobby Lobby so I picked them up and then I just painted them and altered them and they just make a really pretty setting for a mantle for uh, the centerpiece of you know your dining room table they're really simple easy to use I just painted them white and then picked a pattern paper that I wanted to use and this one is from Echo Park and I think it's called let it snow and it's one of their newest releases from this year so very simple I think this is my favorite of them all because obviously it's a snowflake I just layered it with another big snowflake die cut of course the Tim Holtz um, rosette from Sizzix and then these are just wooden um, snowflakes that I picked up at Michaels I'm sure most of you picked them up too because they were like 70% off and then just finished it off with the rhinestone so I do have this set here um, I did buy a bunch of them because they were just at an incredible price so I have them ready for next year so I just wanted to share those couple of things really quickly as we get ready for Christmas and now let me go ahead and pick a winner for our giveaway and I just did it the old-fashioned way as you can see I just printed all the comments and I'm just tucking them nicely inside this little wooden box that I picked up and I'm just gonna pick a winner and again thank you for your comments thank you for subscribing 
and I hope to have a video up probably within the next couple days. It'll probably be my only one um, until after Christmas, and it's going to be on my loaded gift card holder. I'm going to have a tutorial on how I put that together. So here we go. I'm just going to pick a winner, and let's see who it is. Okay, this is Rosa Caldillo. Congrats. Hopefully I win. Well, Rosa, you did win. So thank you so much. And I, I do hope that I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. So you are the winner of all the Sizzix dies that I showed in my last video. And of course, the Starbucks um, little mini gift card holder filled with lots of different thinlets. So, and they're all from Sizzix too. So Thank you so much, Rosa. Please email me so I can have your address and send this uh, to you. So thank you again so much. I appreciate it. I hope each of you have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you at the next video. Thank you for watching.